summer upon us, it's time to take the dining experience outside. And today I'm going to show you alfresco lovers some top tips, not only on how to keep your food fresh, but to do it with style. One of the things as a kid that I dreaded the most about our fresco dining was the soggy, curled up, squashed sarni. Does that look familiar? Well, no more. I'm going to show you a great tip on how to glam up a sandwich. So you want to take some tortilla wraps, just these flour ones, brilliant, and then just put any filling of your choice inside. I'm going to just make a bit of salad dressing with some chicken and lettuce and cucumber. Lovely fresh ingredients. and then just roll it up nice and tightly. Now tortilla is great because it won't go soggy at all as it is but how do you stop it from falling apart? This is the tip. Take a piece of greaseproof paper, sit your tortilla on the top and then roll it up tightly twist the ends so it looks like one large sweet you can take them just as they are. But another thing to do, take a paper napkin, roll it around the edge, a piece of string or an elastic band or ribbon, just tie it around the outside to hold that napkin in place. And there you have your fantastic alternative to a soggy sarni. Pop it in a box. Another mistake people often make when preparing for a picnic is to make their salad ahead of time with all of the dressing and when you get to your destination your salad has reached a yucky soggy mass at the bottom of the bowl. Not very appetising or appealing. A great tip for this is to put all of your salad ingredients into separate containers, make your dressing, put it into a screw cap jar and then you can just mix everything together at your destination when you're ready to eat. We're all packed up, let's go and eat. Have a think about what you're going to eat your food off to. These reusable plates are great. They're environmentally sound because they don't have to be thrown away and they have separate compartments to stop your food from rolling around. Perfect for uneven floors and they look pretty nifty too. Just before you set off, you'll want to think about keeping your food cool. And one way of doing this is to pack frozen bottles of water around your food in the cool bag. This will save you space as they can be drunk on site and once they've defrosted. Another top tip for keeping your drinks colder for longer is wrapping them in an iced jacket before you leave home and your drinks will stay cool all day. Now here's a simple tip for you. Carrying lots of cutlery around isn't my idea of fun, especially when it falls to the bottom of the bag and you go rummaging around trying to find it when you need it. So I suggest you invest in a spork. Yes, you did hear right. Part spoon, part fork, ideal for most dishes and certainly saves on lots of space. Picnicking is great fun and as you can see, it's moved on hugely from soggy sarnies and warm diluted orange squash. But what we must do is consider our responsibilities when it comes to clearing up. Here's a few tips on how to have a green picnic. Always take bin liners with you for the food waste and a separate one for recycling such as plastics, bottles and waste paper. When you buy your napkins, ensure that they can be recycled. And always use as many containers to bring your picnic in as you can, as these can go home with you and you can use them for your next alfresco outing. So there you have it, alfresco dining can be cool and stylish. Enjoy. I think, yes, I think.